Right then, we're going to a barn. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Nathan's... Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? door come on oh yes maximus rules god this is way too blair witch i have goosebumps all over come on supermax hey check out this old chest a little louder chloe Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Old Prescott clippings. This tractor has paid its dues. Perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Whoa. What is this? Totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> Please be careful yeah, up there, Max. We all love platforming games. Another photo, which is probably another achievement. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Al. Okay. Tell me if you need any help. Do not fall. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. There we go. Problem solving. Right then, let's see this in action. Paul. Kaboom. Skyver strikes again. Do 
Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Okay, let's find out what's going on. Let's see. Little Open bit sesame. Up there. <laughs> see. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Well, right, I'm still in control. Now, what the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god, Rachel, Kate, all these vials. This place actually feels evil. All right then, let's go to the junkyard. We're out of the scary barn, now we're going to the junkyard. Let's see what happens. We're near to the end here as well, after a long, long recording. I will be splitting these up into parts, but Holy, slow I'll down. tell you more at the end. Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look, this is it! This is it! I'm 
so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> I think we'll probably find out in the next episode who has done all this. Be interesting to see. In the next episode, I will record. <laughs>
want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should, I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me, no what. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that, I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, bro. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. I wonder who. I almost I just didn't see wish you. Some... Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Oh. <laughs> Of course you sucked up to 
protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. Surprised to see you here. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have the time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. If I Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? Hey, Sarah. Um... Do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. What's up, Hayden? Oh, hey, Max. I didn't think you'd actually come tonight. Well, I didn't think anybody would want to party after Kate Marsh killed herself this week. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No, I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope that the party you actually planned to party at the party. Not this week. So 
Has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or you can sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy to you. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister, or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm, like, far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that food. Oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro's got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. What you ever want to see? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoot's game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. You can get touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than the dance. Catch you later, Max. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe.
to be, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Hold out before we keep till I'm flat. Another decision. Should I warn her or should yeah. I not? <laughs> Let's just go with warning her. This is my decision. Let's go. See what happens. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did throw the table at the party so he could take her somewhere in the dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. And I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. I think that worked. But now, to the real problem of Nathan. So, let's see what happens here. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Here, though. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich? And rich? And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. 
You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate it, I, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist, sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria, Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. What the hell? Two moons, I don't get it. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Slowly. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Oh, Max, God, please, please hurry. hurry. You. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh no. Uh, 
Who's the person that's shooting though? Who is it? What? Him? Him? The teacher? What? Hey, the teacher is the bloody... Oh my god. So it's not even Nathan at all. What the actual hell just happened there? <laughs> Brilliant episode though. Brilliant episode, but really, what... what just gonna have to find out for episode five what the hell is going on in the last episode. But I'm just shocked here. What? <laughs> I'm just confused. What, what actually happened there? Why is it him? I don't get it. Is he behind everything? Behind the time travel stuff as well? There's a lot of answers, a lot of questions to be asked here. But here's my choices. You refused Chloe's request, you accepted Chloe's request. Yeah, didn't want to accept that. You let Warren beat up Nathan, you stopped Warren beating up Nathan, right. Um, Chloe killed Frank 8%, Chloe wounded Frank 28%, no one got hurt. Yeah, I could have, could have changed it, but I wanted to keep it as that. Victoria, I believe you're warning, that's good. I've got the most there, so that's great. And all the little ones you said to Blue Jay? I did. You, desert, you disturbed the bird's nest, 12%. You didn't deserve the bird's nest. Yeah, I want you to get that achievement, though. No. You found David's code, you got David's files in another way. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Kate didn't help you. Right. You motivated Daniel to attend the Vortex Club. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club. You left a message on Warren's slate. You didn't even message on Warren's slate. You figured out Nathan's pin code. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. You helped Elisa. You didn't have it. Yeah. So there you go. There's my little choices there. But let's let's find out what's going to happen in the next episode. Okay then, it's just him in the barn thing and in the tornado in the background. <laughs> just have to wait until this one's released. <laughs> but yeah, brilliant episode again, I have to applaud it. Just have to applaud that. And there we go, coming soon. Anyway, that's the end of this video, long. We've been recording it for nearly three hours, but I will be splitting this up into parts. So we'll probably have like part one, part two, part three, so spread it around a bit because I'm not going to upload a three hour video. No, it's just no. If you enjoyed this episode of Life is Strange, then please leave a like. And if you want to subscribe, then hit that subscribe button at the end of this video. If you like this sub button, please let me know why in the comments below so I can improve. And I'll see you in the next one.